Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Navi, and today we're going to be doing a cider haul, 15 plus items. There's gonna be tops, sweaters, skirts, pants, dresses, jumpsuits, and swimsuits, so pretty much a little bit of everything. We're gonna talk about shipping, quality, and the fit. This is gonna be a voiceover because I don't currently have a sit down area to film right now, um, so just keep that in mind. So the very first picture on the left is the package that it came in. I'm really surprised they were able to fit about 18 items in there because they taped the hell out of that. And the middle picture is um, how each individual item came. And then the very on the very right, um, the video is all the items I got. And if you notice, there's some writing in red that says pre-order, but... I just suspect that Cider is a drop shipping company. I'm not 100% sure, but just from um, how long it took the package to arrive and other people have talked about this, it does take a while to arrive. And if you guys don't know what drop shipping is, drop shipping is pretty much when a seller has a website and they sell products on there, but they don't keep a lot of them in stock. So when an order is placed, they pretty much send it to a third party, their manufacturer and the manufacturer um, sends the items to you directly. So it does take a little bit of time to arrive. I ordered on April 21st and it came on May 6th, so it took about 16 days to arrive. I just thought that was important to tell you guys because if you guys are ordering from Cider for an event or something, it's not exactly fast shipping, but if you guys don't mind waiting, then, um, you know, that's probably not a huge problem, but yeah. Um, I just thought that information was important to disclose. This is the first top I got. It's this knit material. It's super soft actually. I was very impressed by the quality of this top. It's this beige neutral color. Um, it goes with everything. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. It looks very flattering on. And again, the material is so comfortable. And don't mind my back knee, you guys. I mean, come on. We all have a little back knee. Let's just be honest. But back to the top, it's super cute, super flattering, and one of my favorite pieces from this haul. This is the next top I got, very similar color. The material is exactly the same as the first top, super comfortable. This is what the back looks like. I do feel like with this top, the back lays a little odd. I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't lay exactly the way I want it to lay. And again, I'm not wearing a bra with a lot of the tops I'm trying on just because I don't have a strapless bra, so sorry if I'm nipping a little bit. But um, yeah, this top is a high neck, turtleneck, I don't know, in between, and it's super cute. This top is also very similar uh, in color. It's just a little bit lighter. This material on this top is actually a little bit different. It's not as soft. I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, but it's definitely more of a rough material than the first two tops. This one is also a turtleneck, but it's not a fold over turtleneck. It's just, um, it just goes straight up. So you, I guess you can fold it over if you want to, but I think it looks more flattering like this. And this is what it looks like up close. And yeah, just a super basic piece to have in your closet. We have this green top and I love the color of this top. I love the style of it, but it is a little bit too small for me or too big for me, I should say because I kind of wish it was a little bit tighter because it doesn't really fit the boobies like I want it to. It's it's kind of a top where I'm having to pull up every so often. Um, but I don't think they had an extra small. I believe this top only comes in small, medium, and large. So if they had an extra small, I feel like that would fit me perfectly. But still a very cute top, um, perfect for summer. And again, I will have all my measurements down below and the sizes I got as well. I know summer is here, but I just couldn't resist getting some um, cardigans. So this is a cardigan. It's super, super thick, so it's really warm. The material on this is definitely um, on the heavier side. It is great quality though, and it has this fur trim around the neck. You can button it all the way up or you can keep it unbuttoned. This is what the design looks like on the back and the front. And yeah, it's... Um, the material's not that soft, to be honest with you. It's more of a rougher material. 
um, but it's still not uncomfortable and again it's really warm so you definitely probably couldn't wear this during the daytime we have this green knit uh, turtleneck sweater this one I love the color on this it's such a vibrant beautiful color and just keep in mind it is a knit material so it does snag pretty easily um, for this one, I got it in a size medium, and I was kind of surprised by the size because I felt like this fit more like a small. Um, so if you're looking for more of a bigger, oversized knit sweater that you want to be able to tuck in, I would actually recommend getting a large. So I'm usually a size small, and I sized up to a medium, and it was still pretty small on me. So I would recommend sizing up two sizes if you want that bigger um, fit. Otherwise, I love the sweater everything else about it is amazing. I don't really know why I got this top. It's not really my style, but I will say that the material is so soft. I think out of all the tops I got, this is the most comfortable top I got. And it is a little bit on the thinner side, but the material is so soft. I can't even explain it to you guys how soft it is. Um, this is a turtleneck as well. You can fold it over or you can just keep it up and it's, I don't know, there's not much to say about this top. It's just, you know, a basic, um, comfortable top to wear. The next two pieces I got was this top and this skirt. I'm going to go over the top first. So the top is made out of, um, like this satin material. It does wrinkle pretty easily, but you can expect that with satin it's a beautiful color and it's off shoulder um yeah not really much to say about this top either it's not really something i would usually wear but i just really love the color so that's the reason i got it this is what it looks like up close and yeah um as for the skirt i love this skirt but it's too big on me um i just don't have the hips to fill this out i believe i got this skirt in an extra small and it's still pretty big for my hips as you can see it's in this dark navy color there's a zipper on the side and you can put a belt around it as well if you want to um and then another thing about this is that it has shorts underneath so it is technically a mini skirt but it does have shorts underneath, so you don't have to worry about flashing anybody. One thing to note, though, is the material is really, really, really thin on this skirt, so just keep that in mind. We have this skirt here. Again, it was a little too long for my liking, but I am 5'1", so I'm pretty short, so if you're taller, it might fit a little bit shorter on you. Um, I do love the material on this skirt. It's pretty thick, good quality material. But I'm not really a fan of the length. I wish it was just a little bit shorter. But this is what it looks like. And with this skirt, it does have an elastic band all the way around the skirt. So that's nice. And yeah, it's just a little bit more on the conservative side for me. Um, I prefer my sh my skirts to be a little bit shorter. But it's it's not bad. It's not bad. We have this skirt here. It actually has real pockets, which I did not know. And it is way, way, way too big for me. I honestly really hate this skirt. It is super wrinkly. It wrinkles super easily. And it's just really, really big. Um, I don't remember what size I got. I believe I tried to get an extra small. And if they didn't have extra small, I would just get a small. But this skirt is pretty thin. The material is kind of... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a soft suede material, but on the very thin side. And it does have a zipper on the side as well. Um, but yeah, definitely not my favorite skirt out of the haul. It's just, I mean, you can see it. It's just not very flattering on me. We have these pants, and I absolutely hate these pants. I feel like this is definitely the worst item of the haul altogether. It's just really bad quality, super thin. The length is not terrible. I'm 5'1", and it's a little, just a little bit longer for me, but it's, it's pretty short I would say like if you're 5'5 five five, I mean these pants would probably be a little bit too short for you um I just felt like the quality was so bad in these pants there's just I don't even know how to explain it it just felt like paper to me and the belt is also made out of the same quality so even if you tighten the belt it just looks wonky I don't know how to explain it but I just don't like these pants at all I got these in a size extra small and they just they just look terrible
There's this satin cutout halter midi dress, and I love this dress. Um, it is a little bit wrinkly, but if you steam it, I feel like this would look bomb. It does have a pretty deep slit on the right side, so just be careful of that because um, if the wind is blowing, you can definitely, you know, flash someone like I almost did. But yeah, I love this dress. It fits perfect. I got this in a size extra small, and... The color is amazing. Everything about this dress is pretty amazing. Um, you would just have to steam it or iron it to make it a little bit smooth, smoother. This dress is perfect for a date night. Um, and one thing to note as well is that the back, the top is a button-up closure on the very top. So I only buttoned one because it was really, really hard for me to button the rest. But you will probably need some assistance with this dress. So it is a little bit hard to put on, but I don't know. Maybe you guys are pros at buttoning stuff from the back, so. We have this red dress. This is actually very similar to a House of CB dupe. I will put the House of CB um, dupe or dress on screen somewhere. It's pretty similar to that one. But for this one, I really wanted to love this dress, but I don't know. I just feel like it makes me look really boxy i could say that it's due to the fact that i stopped working out and i lost a lot of weight <laughs> but it's just not as flattering on me because it just makes me look kind of boxy so i got this dress in a size extra small and another thing to note is you see this rouging on the side that i'm pointing to that's actually not real so you can't tighten it or loosen it it's just for show and then you just tie the ribbons at the bottom but they don't actually move um, but the rouging on the, the breast area, that part is real, so you can tighten or loosen the, the booby area. This dress also has an undergarment, so the, the overlayer garment is this sheer fab fabric, but it does have an underlayer um, garment on it, so it's not completely see-through. One thing to note, though, is this dress is really short, so this is a mini dress, so that's what you can expect from a mini dress. Um, I'm 5'1", so it's pretty short on me, so if you're a little bit taller, it might be extra short. And I was trying to show you guys the sparkles up close. I don't know if you can see it, but there are, like, little sparkles all over the dress, so, yeah, you can see it better in this, in this clip here. I got this two-piece set here. I love this piece. It's super classy. The color is amazing. It's this teal blue color. One thing though is the pants are so, so long. Um, I definitely think I'm going to get this one tailored because it's such a classy piece and I love it, but the pants are <laughs> way too long for me. Um, but I love the color. I'm in love with this color and it's just a classy, loose-fitting, comfortable um, set to wear. It's pretty thin, but I think the purpose of this set is to be comfortable. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the color up close in a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like, but this is what it looks like all around. I got this in a size small. This one is also a button closure at the very top on the, on the neck part. And yeah, I was just having trouble with the pants because they're so long and if I'm trying to walk in it, it's I have to literally carry the pants because they're just super duper long. This is what it looks like up close. It has a pattern on it um, and it has a thick waistband all around as well. And I just wanted to show you guys in the actual sunlight lighting to, to really show you guys the texture of this and the color so this is what it looks like up close in better lighting i got this black jumpsuit and this is how i paired it with my coach purse and jewelry pieces i love this set i couldn't quite tie the back this is also something where it's hard to put on because you have to tie the back into a bow and I actually loved this piece, but then after putting it through the wash once, it really messed up the waistband, and I'll show you guys up close later, but this jumpsuit is the perfect length for me. Again, I'm 5'1", and it's a perfect length for me over heels. It doesn't touch the floor. It's just great. If you're 5'1", this is the per perfect length for you. The only thing I will say is that the waistband, uh, like, I just loved it so much, but after putting it in the wash, it really 
really mess up the waistband as you can see so that part just looks not good anymore um but yeah if you're wearing it right away without washing it or i would just say be careful when you're washing it because the waistband definitely looks different after the first wash this isn't a size extra small and the material is on the thinner side and that another thing to note is that when you're walking this type of material in on this jumpsuit just really gets into your butt crack kind of feels like a thong sometimes and i didn't like that the last item i got was this swimsuit um the material on this swimsuit is really impressive it's pretty thick and the, the color is amazing it's it's like this green almost teal color and this is what the top looks like another thing that i like is that the bottoms on this swimsuit are not that cheeky either so if you're looking for something with a little bit more coverage this is perfect and the fit is amazing it's a size small by the way and the top also has padding by the way so that was it for this cider haul overall i was pretty impressed with the tops quality um, i will say that cider has pretty good quality tops their pants and their skirts are a little bit more like on the iffy side but i had no problems with any of the shirts and again if you guys like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching